Good afternoon. Welcome back to Cobo Challenge at Basel, Hong Kong. We are very glad today that we have a gentleman here with us, Mr. Jeffrey Deutsch. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's very exciting to be here. A little introduction. Uh, Jeffrey opened his first gallery when he was a college student, and he sold all the work within a week. I didn't know what I was doing, but I did sell all the work within a week and had to go back to get more from the artists. Wow. And the artists were amazed. And then in, um, in the 80s, you start promoting, you were among the first um, advocate of graffiti art, street art as well. Well, in fact, in 1982, I brought three of the greatest wild style street artists to Hong Kong. Wow. So I was the art advisor for Alfred Hughes Eye Club. And before the club was built, Alfred and I had the idea in the empty space before the construction started, mm. let's bring three of the greatest graffiti artists. So we brought Futura, Dandi, and Zephyr to Hong Kong, and they bombed the place, and there was an amazing party. Uh, some of the work was done on canvas. Uh, mm. Alfred still has this rolled up someplace here in Hong Kong. I have to find out about that. <laughs> So our opening show for the iClub was Andy Warhol, mm -hmm. Andy Warhol Portraits. And was it Andy Warhol's first show in Hong Kong? That's right. Mm. And it was a big deal for Andy to come. He didn't like traveling this far. But his manager, Fred Hughes, made a very good deal. Uh, so we took over the entire first class section of a Pan Am Clipper with Andy, his manager, Fred Hughes, photographer Christopher Makos who took amazing images and then a whole group of socialites titled English ladies and others so Andy brought the party with him amazing and after Hong Kong we arranged for him to go to Beijing and Andy took astonishing photographs Jeffrey you devote so much time on art someone wants to know if you have another hobby most artists or creative people they just laugh when you ask, do I have a hobby? Because if you're involved in something like mm. art and deeply involved, you don't need a hobby. Because what I do professionally is not like work. Mm. I do the same things when I'm on holiday and when I'm supposedly working in the office. The activities aren't any different. There's such fascinating people in this field and with the art platform today, you connect with the best musicians, actors, writers, people in every range of field. So art is an amazing platform today. I heard that you have another kind of um, fetish, which is the tie. Oh, really? <laughs> no fetish, no, it just... No uh, fetish? No, it's so, partially because I'm often involved with just the craziest radical art to get people to take me seriously, to present it with authority, I dress up like a businessman. So I've always done this. Going to the South Bronx mm. to meet with a graffiti artist like Crash, you know, I would wear my business suit. But that's sort of my look. And, and if I change it, people get angry. They, you know, what are you doing without a tie? <laughs> you know, so now I just, I, I have to wear it all the time now. You have particular preference for color, um, texture, pattern or something? <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the color of the sky. I love blue. So you often see me wearing blue. <laughs> Thank you. One last question. We have a very special guest here. Um, he has a question for you. Okay. Hello Jeffrey, how are you? I just wanted to ask you a question. Who's this painting in my bag in my book? Thank you. Ciao. I don't in fact. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm stumped so he, he, he's got me there. So the answer? Oh, it's Nate Lohman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Nate keeps changing his imagery. Mm. That's why I didn't know. <laughs> Is there a particular reason that Massimo picked this painting? Because he knows that I know Nate. <laughs> <laughs> I know Nate from the beginning. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. your time. Thank, thank you. you.
拜拜。Bye bye